Okay. I will call the Garrison County Commission meeting for Wednesday, June 28, 2023, to order. If you will rise and go into the Pledge, please. Yeah. So, Emily, Father, we come to you with thanks and thank you for all the good things that are happening in our lives and in, in our county and around us. I pray for all the individuals in this room that they have a wonderful day with peace and kindness in their lives and all get home safe to their families. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Anyone signed up to speak? No. Is there anyone on Zoom that wishes to speak publicly? Anyone on Zoom wish to speak publicly? Okay, hearing none, we move on to number two, consent agenda. What's the pleasure? Motion to approve. Motion to approve consent agenda. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number three, payroll change notices A through F. What's the pleasure? Motion to approve A through F, please. Motion to approve number three A through F. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carried. Number four, minutes and or minutes of previous meetings A through C. These are drafts. Motion for the drafts A through C. Okay, motion to approve the drafts A through C. We're going to make sure it turns into the initial document on the side. Okay, is there any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. No. Aye. Any opposed? No. Motion carried. Uh, number five, requisition purchase orders, invoices as shown on vendor list of payments. Uh, there are several. On there that I looked at that are estimated costs. And I guess we've approved these in the past, but I do believe this needs to be addressed. I don't have to jump on the pretty. I do, but I'm not only because I have in the past. I don't know how you estimate lodging and various other costs when you're going somewhere. I just want to make that clear. Everybody else can wear Let's say that. What's the pleasure for number five? Motion for a motion to pull. I mean, that's. I guess that's the motion. I, it's up to us. I think <laughs> we're going to do. I mean, I think it definitely needs to be addressed either now or in the future. They're leaving today to go on a trip for one of them. Um, and they've done this in the past. That's why I'm just. We might want to sit down and speak about it first. That's just my. Thoughts you guys can speak up if you want to. If we approve them this time, like we have in the past, then we can work to make sure. I mean, doesn't there's not, I mean, they've gotten the information back to us with mm -hmm. you know, back to the bookkeeping department. They've already sent some of it, I think. But uh, I don't know that there's a real problem, but I don't think that's where we want to do our requisition at estimated cost. That's just me speaking. Maybe approve it now, but or if you would, or somebody needs to take care of that in the future. This happens at the end of the year. Trying to move money around and do some things. But and get it in this fiscal year. When you order something, you should know how much it costs. In my opinion, I always know what if I'm going to requisition, I'm going to know how much it costs before I turn it in. So, what's the pleasure on number five? Motion to approve, please. Motion to approve 5A. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Uh, 
Yes, it is 1104. We really don't want to say 1105. Okay, 1105. Leasing Summit Park to West Virginia Softball League. Mr. Menendez is here. Um, and Ms. Gain, did you all want to speak to what you all are planning on doing out there and would like for us to do? Yeah. Uh, sure. The uh, we're just uh, looking for a place. Uh, the summer park fields have been underutilized for for ages, and we're just looking for a place for uh, to just be a home for the girls. Uh, they really don't have the same kind of opportunity like uh, in Clarksburg with uh, as as baseball does, uh, things like that. We kind of get shoved off the fields when it comes to uh, baseball season starting, things like that. And just uh, you know, uh, when she grew up and when I was younger, that's where softball was, and it was all girls softball. Um, we just have a lot of people that want to help us and uh, get those fields uh, ready to go for fall and start running three uh, three seasons a year, fall, spring, and summer. And uh, look to not really mention it to anybody, but we think even by fall, we'll probably have about 150 girls to sign up, uh, which this fall would be the lesser season of the two as well. But uh, we're not even asking for anything uh, other than just uh, the use of the fields. And um, we would have donors uh, take care of fixing things up. We'd be maintaining it, fixing fields up, and keeping them looking right. Um, we just think that there needs to be more opportunity for girls softball in the area. A lot of other surrounding counties and cities do have it. I think that the girls love softball just as much as the boys love baseball. So I just want to give them that opportunity. I agree with Ruben. <laughs> Ruben, you want to add anything? No, I'm perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so basically you guys just want to lease it you'll fix the field up and we'll, cut the we'll, grass and we'll, i mean and trey will we can come up with some kind of lease yes or whatever and just so we can have the fields and you know obviously within reason of you know like we like something worked up to where it's not like we have to panic at the end of every season when we still have these, when we still, you know what I mean? Like, and you're willing to work with the community at the events that they have. Oh, yes. You, the one up there. Yeah, like the uh, like like the reunions and like, uh, I guess the Livestock. auctions and stuff like that. Of course, anything that was ever running up there and things like that. And honestly, when I was a, even before you put softball there, I played T-ball and things like that there. And even Babe Ruth, I practiced there. And just the, we'd like to bring a little more life to that area as well. So we have, I think we'd, um, we'd really brighten up the area as well. I mean, talking new fencing, new everything, just really fixing it up and making it look like it did when we were kids. Um, you know, give these girls something to really be proud of and let them fix it up themselves. And then there's another group that will use it. Yes, uh, the, uh, West Virginia Patriots softball uh, contact with it for baseball is uh, Kurt Skazik. And um, I spoke to him again last night. He knows I'm coming in and speaking uh, today. He just wants, uh, he, he was just asking to use it a couple hours a week for his travel team practice. And I said, no, I could put something in writing for that. And that's no big deal. I've, I've known Kurt since we were about 10. So that's no issue at all. So happy to happy to work with what we can to, you know, make things work for these girls. I'm excited about this. I think it's great for some park. It's great for Harrison County um, sports. I think so too. Softball, baseball. Thank you. Um, and I really appreciate you all taking the time and well, we've got the lots energy of that, that you want to, want to put into this. Then. Well, there's always a lot of people that want to help as long as there's a couple of people that are willing to lead the charge. I, I'm always kind of upset to find it. <laughs> so <laughs> if people want to thought, a lot of people are good to help along. They just don't want to be the initiator. You, you know, don't so. have a problem doing that. No, no, no. <laughs> no a little too abrasive to not, uh, <laughs> to not enjoy that aspect of it. So, so. basically... I think I'd like for Laura to be able to work with Trey, Bobby, and, and Kurt to come up with some kind of lease or plan that we can do. I mean, that's my vision anyway, but I don't know about the rest of you. Um, sure. And Bobby, let me just say, you have applied for nonprofit status. Oh, I, yeah. Sorry, okay. I'm just waiting. Every, all the paperwork's done. We've got uh, paperwork uh, actually for everything, uh, separate bank accounts, separate everything, everything's filed. Okay, ready you. to go. No problem. No, as soon as it just comes back our way, we've got a, a small business license or business license, things like that. It's all underway. Okay. Yeah, man, I'm going to make sure to move forward with the Lafayette County Administrator, with the County Attorney, and the participating parties uh, to come up with an agreement that's fair to everyone. Um, 
Unfortunately, we will make sure to deposit the desk all part and come right back to ask that any question, of course. And uh, but at the same time, we have neglected that part. And I think we'll talk about that since mm -hmm. I came on the commission. David and I have always felt that it was underutilized and, and not maintained as well as it could be. So um, Susan has said all I can say. Okay, well, that's, that's under number six. Would you discuss consider leasing some of Park to West Virginia girls softball league? So the motion's been made to get appropriate parties to get together to work through this. This is we can bring something back. Is there any further discussion? Okay. Um, are we going to make a, an, any investment in this endeavor? I think the park is our investment. If we are, the plan is that we are going to cut grass as far I mean, and, and if, if need be, I think, you know, we're, we're, you're cutting the grass now. No, no. no you guys are. Uh, then, yeah, if you just wanted to keep doing that and let us use the park, I mean, like, that's, that's, I mean, like, don't get me wrong, sir. I mean, I'm not going to turn down any help, but at the same time, I'm not, I'm not also not asking for any additional help. Well, I just know some of the projects, at least the last time I was out here, hadn't been totally completed. We have been working on those, David, for a lot. So I'm just, just wanting to make sure that yeah. what we started is finished. Oh, if Thanks. there's something started, then that was four years ago. Sure. So but our frustration is that you come on the breath of fresh air. Well, I mean, I'm, like I said, I'm just yeah, just happy to have all the new fencing's been done up on the field, new backstop. Not on field, not on the upper field. It has been 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 new been dugouts have been done. Uh, so that was all supposed to have been done. Well, that's something get together and figure out what works. And if it needs done, we get it done, or we work with them to get it done. Fair enough. Yeah. Well, we found some backstops. I know that uh, Neil's fence, which is now uh, it's run through uh, three or four fence now, is uh, they did that bottom field and it looks great. In fact, uh, my a friend of mine, Mike Stump, is one of the is a guy that helps that, that does all that stuff, and he said that he had worked previously with them, so it, um, and he knows that I kind of gave him the idea of, of like you know, hey. We're gonna want the, this fifth stuff done, and he he went and drove by and did a drive by. So I think that he's ready to help with whatever fashion we need it, whether it's you guys continuing to do something or us just starting fresh, whatever. And, but the fencing is gonna be imperative because if you want people to move their kids over, and and well, I think well, I'm on the pony baseball board, and once I resign there, I think that a litany of girls are just gonna leave, and I don't think we'll keep softball anyway. So it. Uh, so, but you want to fix it up as nice as you can because you want you want to give people something for their money and give them yeah. something to look at. So the fencing is imperative because like it's going to dress up everything. Just the new fence, get rid of the rust and the danger. <laughs> no, it can be done. We just have to incorporate the underlying covenants which are on the county and the vesting documents within the lease. But I can draft something work with Laura and Bobby. To get something prepared and bring back to you all. Mm -hmm. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Uh -huh. Any opposed? There's none. Motion oh. carried. And like Patrick said, play ball. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. 11 10. That's 11 13. Update progress Mountain Trail Network. Andrew Walker. Yeah, so um, I'm Andrew Walker from the Mountaineer Trail Network Recreation Authority. Um, I'm the newer-ish executive director. I was hired back in October. So, um, and then uh, Kent Spellman here with me, and then George Finley as well. So, just uh, they're coming along. We're we basically want to give you all an update. Uh, it's probably been a little while since somebody from the Mountaineer Trail Network has been here to kind of tell you what we've been working on. So, um, want to give a, a bit of an update. Um, we're also, we have a vacant seat in Harrison County, um, and, and we're looking to, um, see if you all would appoint George to our board, um, and then, uh, also, uh, have a potential funding, uh, request towards the end as well. So, um, just 
Thank you. Kick it You've off. seen me here before, and I uh, appreciate your willingness to let us talk today. Um, this is a really exciting time for trails, not just in Harrison County, but throughout the region and throughout the state. There's a lot of trail activity, uh, and the trail activity is broader and, and uh, more diverse than ever before. Uh, I'm here as a representative of several organizations. One is the Harrison Recreational Trails Group, which used to be Harrison Rail Trails. We've expanded our mission to include non-motorized trails of all kinds because we see that the trail users that use rail trails also like mountain bike trails, also like water trails, and we want to advocate for a diverse trail system here in Harrison County. Uh, I'm also here as the chair of the board of West Virginia Trail, which is a statewide organization that works to uh, advance policy and funding and information and advocacy for trails of all kinds in West Virginia. Uh, but I'm mostly here today as a board member of the Mountaineer Trail Network Recreation Authority, which covers 16 counties. Um, and Andrew's going to give you more information about what's going on with that organization in just a few minutes. I've been working on trails since 1988. I started um, and was one of the founders of the North Bend Rail Trail, which we're still working on with Trey right now to bring it into, into Harrison County and into Clarksburg. Uh, that's a long project, but uh, I think we'll eventually get there. But for all my love of trails, I tell people all the time, I really don't care about trails. What I care about is what trails do for communities, for citizens in those communities, for connecting communities, and for driving economic development and community development. So that's really what we're about is improving our communities. And we think trails are a way to do that. Um, I, we're gonna turn it over to George here to talk a little bit about um, himself and why he's interested in serving on the board of Mountain Your Trail Network. Um, I do wanna say that trails are one of the top amenities that families are looking for in deciding where they want to live. It's one of the things that help them decide where they want to raise their family. And the more we do to create access to trails throughout Harrison County, the more attractive we're making our county as a place to live. So George, why don't you tell a little bit about yourself and um, why the hell you want to do this? Well, uh, I'm George Finley, uh, lifelong uh, Clarksburg and Harrison County resident. Uh, business owner for many, many years in the, in the city. Uh, I am a avid trail user, avid trail uh, maintenance volunteer, and have become an avid trail advocate. I've worked with, with the state parks of Southern Tucker County on a trail system up there, I've worked with um, Watersmith State Park here in Harrison County on a developing trail up there. Uh, I'm principally a mountain biker but do rail trail riding, hiking, and uh, have traveled fairly extensively over throughout the Southeast, um, uh, riding various trail networks. And what I've found doing that over the past year is we can't do get on target is that is what trail hubs bring to communities is phenomenal. I mean, little towns have become big towns and uh, a lot of it is because of outdoor recreation. And so my love of mountain biking and uh, getting out on trails has turned into, as Ken says, I, I, I still like trails, but now that I've figured out that trails can really help your community, I've become far more interested. So I've joined the uh, Harris County uh, Recreational Trail Board. Um, I have, I'm in the process of an appointment uh, with the state of West Virginia. Just waiting on Jimmy J to uh, to sign the, the document to become a member of the West Virginia Recreational Trail Advisory Board. So I have, I think you I, got have, it, I, I had that right. That's the first thing you have to know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and so today I'm here uh, with these fellas and in front of you to ask for your blessing for an appointment to, uh, to fill a vacant board seat with the MT NRA. Uh, there you have it. <laughs> and then, yeah, um, so I would like to give you all just a brief update on, on what we've been working on for at least the last year and a half. So um, as you may or may not know, so in 2019, there was an act of uh, state legislation 
that creates the Mountaineer Trail Network uh, of a bill that made multi-county uh, trail network a possibility. So we have a couple different roles. So on the one hand, we're, we're a community development tool. Um, so as Kent and George both, both mentioned, um, trails present an awesome opportunity to, to really enrich communities. Uh, so we definitely work a lot. That's that's one of our main principal phases. Um, another point um, is we we operate as kind of uh, one part economic development uh, uh, corporation. So um, using trails as a tool to be able to enrich communities, um, drive local economies, um, bring people from inside those communities to be able to um, use those resources, and then also look to work within those communities to build those resources out um, so that people that are maybe traveling through the area seek out these areas to um to to kind of um stay use the trails and then and then hopefully spend money so uh what we've been working on specifically for the last year is um we've been doing capacity building first um so building up the board um that culminated with the hiring of myself as the executive director in october um since october we've been working in uh the next several phases of our project um so right now we have a um an arc power grant that we're operating underneath um, that will culminate in the fall of 2024 um, with the launch of the initial Mountaineer Trail Network, like a trail network area. Um, so we have five initial uh, hub areas that we're working in currently um, to essentially launch the network out. Um, and we have funds. We're doing infrastructure improvement projects, um, mostly through signage, because um, we're finding that as kind of like the, the lowest kind of barrier to entry for most of these trail systems is having good unified uh, signage systems so people can figure where they are. Um, other imp improvements, we're working on kiosks, uh, we're working on river access on the Chief River uh, Water Trail uh, for put-ins and takeouts, um, and then working with these communities to basically find opportunities for local businesses to be able to utilize the trails that they have. Um, so as we work through that, um, the next year or so, um, we'll be finishing up these in infrastructure improvement plans um, and then launching these five initial hub areas. And then it's our goal that once we launch, We'll have these five, but we're not going to stop there. We don't want to stop there. So there are going to be, there's 16 counties in the network. Not all of them are represented, obviously, in the first five hub areas. So that's where we're going to look. We're looking for like the, our next phase of development after the initial five launch. And that's where um, I think Harrison County can have a big, big place. Um, you know, Mount Wood is one of our hub areas uh, over in Wood County. Um, and then we've got Big Bear Lake Trail Center in Preston County, the Cheat River Water Trail in Preston County and Tucker County, the Camp 70 Trail System in Tucker County, and then the Snowshoe Highlands Area Ride Center down in Pocahontas County. Uh, I feel pretty strongly, and these folks will talk a little bit more about it here in a second, that we have a whole lot of uh, opportunities in some of the mountain towns, and then we have Mount Wood that's over in Wood County. So um, Marion County, Taylor County, Mon County, all the, those groups have already signed on. With some funds and also some some action, um, and we're looking to continue that as we move towards Wood County to offer um, some mountain biking and paddling opportunities that we can kind of add to that next phase of development, so we can continue to build out our interconnected network. So, um, lastly, we're working through branding at the moment. So we'll, we hired a, a, a nationally ranked firm that's going to be doing all of our logo and branding here in the next <laughs> month and a half. That'll turn into a signage. Uh, um, uh, project that we'll be working through to sign out all those five hub areas. And then lastly, in uh, January or February of this next year, we'll be look, we'll be working with a nationally ranked firm to um, produce and put out a, a website that'll tie all the trail amenities on one half, and then all the, the um, like lodging, uh, breweries, food, all those amenities on the other half. So that people that are living in the communities and then also want to come to those communities can find all that information in one one area, and that will essentially tie all of our network opportunities together as we move forward. So, with that being said, I'll turn it over to the two of them to speak a little bit more. Well, I'll just say that HRT uh, Harrison Recreational Trails mm -hmm. has shifted its focus specifically to feed into the Mountaineer Trail Network's work, so that Harrison County will become one of the next hubs for that organization to promote and develop. Uh, that's one of the reasons we diversified our approach to include all non-motorized trails. And I think we're positioned really well. We've strengthened our board. We've diversified our board. We've added um, an AmeriCorps working with us to identify put-ins and takeouts along the West Fork River so that we can have a really viable water trail there. 
that connects to the rail trail that's in many, many places. Um, so we're working hard to sort of position ourselves um, to become a Mountain Air Trail Network hub in the next couple of years. Um, I don't know if you've been down by the VA park uh, near the tunnel at the VA park, but there's a new shelter that Harrison Rail Recreational Trails uh, has built there. Um, we're in the process of securing somebody to put the concrete pad underneath that. Um, we put that together at our cost, at no cost to the county. And we're going to continue doing projects like that on our rail trails and our other trail uh, trailheads around the, the county. Um, we're also, we work with a Boy Scout uh, as an Eagle project to uh, develop mile markers that he has completed and turned over to the county. The county is going to be installing them. There'll be 12 on the Harrison South Trail and six on the Harrison North Trail. He's also built eight benches, which will be installed along those rail trails as well. So there's a lot of activity. Uh, one of the things we're working on, Andrew talked about signage and the importance of signage. One of the things we're working on, the HRT group, is to identify what signage we believe is needed to make the trails as user-friendly as possible. You want to add anything, Bob? Um, only just to build on what, what was already said, we, you know, Harrison, uh, I think has, Harrison County has such a great opportunity to be literally a hub. You've got, you've got the North Bend Trail coming from Parkersburg, almost Parkersburg, once the train is going to run with, with CSX. <laughs> um, you know, P to P, so, so Parkersburg to Pittsburgh, you know, Ohio pile, and then all, over the CNO to, to, um, to DC, that, that's a big picture. But in our little picture right here in Harrison County, you know, we've got we've got Watersmith State Park, but that's about it. We've got a small system that was sort of trying over on Bridgeport, but it, it hasn't really got a lot of traction. But to the north of us is, is, is Valley Falls, and then Morgantown's got a lot of things happening. They got Cooper's Rock to the west of us. You got uh, 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 Mount Wood and North Bend State Park. Um, uh, to the east of us in Preston County, Big Bear, uh, Tucker County, not very far away. Uh, there's a nice little system in Philby. Uh, but Harrison needs more. And I think if we can continue to work through the through the HRT and the MTRA, that we can bring that to Harrison County. So one of the things that was recently approved by the Clarkford City Council was matching funds and a resolution in support of a recreational trails program grant that would build a multi-use trail system and bike park on Lowndes Hill. Uh, I think that would be a great addition because we're going to be able to connect that with the rail trail, with the water trail, and with downtown Clarksburg. And all of that is going to be a small economic driver, but more than anything else, we ask people to not be thinking about trails strictly in terms of tourism dollars. Think in terms of how trails make a community more attractive for families to move here, for families to bring their small businesses here, yeah, for us to grow somewhere. our community. That's, that's what it's about. Cool. And then lastly, um, we've been working throughout the 16 counties um, on a funding model. So as we, so like I mentioned earlier, we're operating under an ARC power grant at the moment. That will finish up in uh, the fall of 2024. Um, so part of our funding strategy going forward is first and foremost to um, to work with the county commissions and the counties that, that support the network um, to uh, ask for funding. Um, there are some other mechanisms within the state legislature and then some other some other opportunities that we're working with as well. Um, we have five initial counties that have, have signed on with um, uh, with funding for the Mountain Trail Network, and those funds initially will go into some of the administrative functions, making sure we can continue on our path, making sure that we're developing um, more hubs and, and interconnecting the, the network together. So um, do I do have a, a funding request um, for you all, um, either this meeting or potentially at another meeting, uh, the next meeting, but um, we have been asking for, for $10,000 for each of the each of the counties that, that are made up of the Mountain Air Trail Network. So. And I want to stress that Harrison Rail Trails, or Recreational Trails, which is your local trail group, serves the county, is bringing you value, not asking you for money. We are bringing you a shelter that probably costs between five and six thousand dollars from the community. So we're not asking for money, but we do want to support Mountaineer Trail Network's request for support.
Any questions? I mean, I have to fill out it. Yeah, as for the funding request, I can respond to that one. I'll need you to fill out the paperwork mm -hmm. and have everything because we asked for some documents and everything. Sure. Um, the girls can get it before you get it to you even before you leave today. Great. So fill it out and then we'll schedule an appointment for a future meeting for that. Okay. As far as Jordan's appointment, I believe that'll have to be on the agenda as well. That will as well. We didn't. It I wasn't on this agenda, that. so you'll put it on the next agenda. Yes. Okay. Okay. Because he's taking uh, John. He's John. I couldn't think of his right. name. Mr. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's fine. We're going to put George to work right away, whether he's appointed. Well, it sounds like he's already been. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you for giving the update. So appreciate it. Do you have a good word? Right? Okay. Number seven. Thank you all. Thanks. <laughs> Exoneration corrective tickets joint property applications. I, I guess we just have A, exoneration. So I'm just A. What's the plan? A. Motion to approve 7A. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. I guess I asked. I was looking at the next item. Number eight, review, discuss, consider order for delinquent or unprogressed estates. We've already voted to do this, correct? This is just the order. Yeah. That's why we should be the man. Let's just read this sentence. I think everybody's Okay, we have commission signed. Okay, motion to have commission sign the orders concerning delinquent or unprogressed estates. Any further discussion or any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Number nine, review, discuss, consider promoting Michelle Tonkin to director of special mm -hmm. projects. So, um, I sent out an email that as of July 1st, I would like to make Michelle Tonkin the director of special projects. She has been very helpful, um, and I did not think that it needed to be on the agenda. So, Commissioner Campbell. Madam President, I need to have a question. But she'll still be able to do pledge with Gina up there. She will help Gina. Okay, no, sir. Well, according to this position description, the job that she's taking, that's my question. Is she going to hold two positions within the courthouse? No, she will be the director of special projects. If I give her a project to help Gina with a certain grant or whatever, then yes, she can help Gina. Okay, but she, Gina's been involved, correct? She has been. Okay. And we asked her to come down and give you a hand of budget. And that's what we were asked. If it was all right for her to come down and help you with budget. Well, we did have her come down around budget time to and help with budget. to help with budget and other things. Okay. And we have utilized her in several different capacities during that time frame. Okay. And even at back at budget time frame, we had the discussion. If this should work out and we change things, where she would be made a position to help me, like director of special projects, and maybe I didn't use that exact wording. Um, that we talked about her salary as well. That was all discussed so back in March. What's her title yeah. right now? Right now, until July 1st, she is the deputy director of grants and special projects. And then we will be splitting that. We split it in how I don't see that in this. Position description. Gina will be the director of grants. Michelle uh -huh. will be the director of special projects. Does Gina have any control over her? No. Okay. So the reason we hired her was to help Gina with work. So are we replacing her for Gina? Not at this time. Well, I'm kind of confused that if we thought she, was, she needed help and now we're not giving her help. Somebody can help me out up here. And that was the reason we hired her was for grants and to work on grants. And I don't know. Let's see. We're in the rail trail. So Mon County and Morgantown just got a grant from Department of Highways Recreational Trail Program, Active Grant Program, Division of Health, and Chronic Disease, from Milan, Oakland, People's Bikes. West Virginia Land Trust, your Community Foundation of North Central West Virginia, Monterey River Trails Conservancy, 
Mountain Valley Resources, West Virginia Division of Multimodal Transportation Facilities. I think we got an issue in grants here. I don't see how we take people out of grants. I believe Gina is more than capable. She has been doing a fantastic job. We had someone to assist her with Donna because she would be retiring. And thankfully, she stayed on. And then, you know, mind the grants left and right. Gina has submitted several grants to the rail trail system for, uh, we have two grants actually on the agenda today. And if in the future we see that she needs help, we can always revisit that and look at getting her more help if that's the need of the time. I'm just confused. Why she's already doing this stuff under grants, Rescue Plan Act. She's already assisted you when you have issues. Why we're uh, inventing a new spot? Me, it just makes sense. Susan, I'd like to know your opinion on why we're making a new. Person. I think she's been a tremendous asset to the commission during her time down here, and I don't have an issue. With this, and if Gina needs help, I'm sure she can be assigned to help Gina. I don't, or we can, like Laura said, we'll look at it later. Look at what later? We can sit down and discuss the grants with Gina and see what kind of help she needs and find her help. But I think she's been a tremendous asset down here. As far as getting us through the budget time, and, and then she's been assigned. You have had her do things for you, and I believe we've had this discussion. Um, and I, I thought you felt the same way, but obviously you've got an issue. I just have an issue with coming up with another job description for somebody. We just keep adding to uh, job positions within the county. I don't see why we need to add. I don't something. think we need to go there. I think she's already. Position she's already in, she can do everything that's here. The only issue is that she's not responsible to Laura's what I see from job description. And then my second issue with all this is was it offered to any of the other employees that need to put out the bid? Because it is a new position within the courthouse. And it should have been offered publicly and it should have been offered to anybody who works in the courthouse. We're going to start that. We need to start position. doing this with everything. We don't do things consistent in this courthouse they never have and i don't think it ever will happen just like with these requisitions there's stuff that needs to be looked at and it needs to be looked at hard and if this is one of them then yes we, need to do it. we just did it here recently for animal control we'll try to promote within them that's been put out for bid and you can't find people to work you get people and then they don't stay but it is being advertised and we said then that we were not going to do this anymore we won't put this stuff out for bid. i don't think that was I, I think you've forgotten some things. But Mr. Zimmerman, would you like to remind us that you suggested that we put new positions out? That that's not what I'm not, talking about. Well, I'm just trying to understand. We had to do it for the dog position, put it back out for put it out for bid and not hire within. Why are we doing this? That's not consistent. If we're going to be consistent, then it should be put out for anybody to have the opportunity. Or she just stays in the position she is, and we say that she helps Lauren. But if we're going to create a new position, I don't think it's fair for everybody in this courthouse or anybody that works in Harrison County not to have the opportunity. There's a lot of things that aren't fair in Harrison County in this courthouse. Have been for years, and it will continue, just like I told you. So we're just. So, but you're continue. here to clean it up, right? You're here to clean it up. <laughs> I thought you were. I am. I, I don't see an issue with this. Yeah. So, so I'll. I'll answer or speak to the Commissioner Hinkle's question. I mean, we've always taken the position everybody should be treated the same because that's how things should be operated. Uh, I don't view this so much as a vacancy as opposed to a realignment to align with what she's already doing at the county. I mean, I don't feel like we're really creating a position. We're just realigning her job description to match what she's doing here. That's why, and Laura asked me about it, and I... I can't even tell and have told you all before, I feel like you should have somebody who has more responsibility for things like procurement directly. And that's one of the purposes of, of doing this. So I didn't really view it as a vacancy commissioner. I viewed it as matching her job. 
because I think she's been doing a lot of these things already. So did you look at the job that she's presently hired for? I looked at uh, the new job description. Well, my so, question is, is how it compares to the for president job description? For, for grants, I don't believe that I looked at the historic description, no. no. I just felt like the new description was aligning her with what she's doing, and I did think you all needed somebody who had more direct involvement in certain things like procurements and sort of risk management type concepts, and she seemed able and qualified to do that. And she's been doing a fabulous job. I mean, she's helped with the budget. She's researched um, fuel cars. She's helped out with the issue with the Board of Education and the fuel. Um, finding a replacement for Oz, updating job descriptions, interviews she sat in on, and sat in on bid openings and bid interviews as well. She has been a great benefit here down in the commission office, and I felt that this was the right move for her and for the commission office. And your model has somewhat changed because before you had a county administrator and assistant county administrator as well. I don't know all the history about the hirings because I wasn't here in that time frame, but your model has somewhat changed in the fairly short time, which I've been here the last two and a half years. I don't have any issue about the job performance. All I have is the issue is that we're promoting creating another job, she already has one, and if we're not replacing that person upstairs, then that's my issue is, when do we stop creating jobs? So this is just another person to build. And there's a lot of stuff here that overlaps what she's already doing, so I'm just trying to understand. The AARP phones, grants, I believe that Michelle has been underutilized. She has great time. She is keeping Arthur. She has worked tremendously with that. Um, it has, some of them are her same duties, whether it's with the ARPA, the tips and stuff like this, but it is a realignment and it falls under day-to-day -day operations that fall under my The response. position was already there. The grants in special projects. Basically what we're doing here is splitting Correct. one position it's kind of like the 911 and the OEM. Right. I don't think we're creating a position. I think the position is already there. Well, and just move that position down to the assault. She's doing your special projects. Or uh, instead of and help, she'll help. I mean, I'm sure she will. I don't know if maybe it's not in there. Maybe it needs to be amended to add grants to it. Maybe that would help. I don't know. I would hope to think that she would. I know she would be very beneficial to me. And I don't have an issue with that. I'm sure nobody else on this bench has an issue with that. Or far. Who yeah. added to the motion on the bench? That was a drop time Frank, does it need a motion? Don't got a payroll change, mother. The payroll, payroll change in this will require a vote because that's been your own practice, but now we're going to get into the, mm -hmm. the handbook issue. She already voted on payroll change. Is, on there? is this part of it? This is it. She wasn't under the payroll change. Right? She was not under payroll okay. change. Now, there is no the payroll change that I know. Okay. She, we discussed this in the budget, and we planned in the budget in March discussing her salary, that if this would take place, this would be her salary, and that is what we approved with our budget in March. This isn't something really new that I picked up. We discussed, I don't deny that what discussion was, I'm going to give her a raise for staying down here. I just don't understand why we had to come up with a detailed list of her duties instead of what she's been doing. Well, I think it's important that everyone has an updated job description and list of the duties that they are responsible for. A lot of the job descriptions are very old. 
Motion. Motion has been made to promote Michelle Tonkin to be director of special projects. All in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Opposed? I'd like to make a motion. This agreement be amended that she still work with grants as grants makes requests to staff for help. I don't think that's too much to ask for. That's do we want that to be a motion? I think it's a good one. Is that okay? Is the his motion to yes, include the yes. grants if she works with the grants department as well? I vote yes. Okay. Any opposed? Oh, no, no, just who spoke about giving her a raise? I don't think I'll Um, I spoke with Ooh. Susan and David about that. I was just left out. So, this has already been voted on separately. We've had conversations, but separately. Okay, but I should have read. Okay, is there any, any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Review, discuss, consider hiring an assistant director for parks and recreation. First on the table, I do go. We'll sit down in the work session and figure out what we want to do with parks and recreation. The motion's been made to table. We're going to have a work session and talk about what we want to do with parks and recreation. And then, President, second motion and move forward for hiring an assistant director for parks and recreation. Okay. Here I go again. I take his first, right? Motion was made to table. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. no. Motion to approve moving forward with the assistant director for parks. Is that your motion? Yes, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Okay. Any discussion? Yes, ma'am. I want to know why we need one at this point. When it's been widely known by everybody involved in parks and rec that our assistant didn't do that much, and why we feel that we need to jump in right now, on our side. Well, Madam President, he's not here to defend himself, but I think he did do much, just like a dishwasher does much if he does. So I'm not going to criticize another man's work as we seem to do every meeting now regularly here. So motion is on the floor, and I'll call the question. Okay. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion to carry. Number 11, review, discuss, consider consideration of approval of project fund requisitions for the payment of costs associated with the General Services Administration building. Project to be financed from proposals of the series 2020 bond issued bonds issued for the Harrison County Commission Building Commission. Under A, requisition 81, capital business inferior, $35,835.54 plus pleasure. Motion approved for $45,835.54. Motion to approve for the amount stated. Any discussion? Yes, ma'am. Does this finish up what we owe? Or do they still have outstanding things? For capital projects, um, this finishes up what we owe them for the original capital contract. Business. Capital oh, business. capital business. I'm sorry. This is furniture. Yes, oh, this is furniture. Yeah, there, is, there, there are other. Right. Yes. So this finishes up the original agreement that we had with them um, with that original contract. We did add a few more things to the county clerk's office that we haven't paid for yet, but this does finish up the original uh furniture when they've replaced all damaged or furniture that wasn't properly ordered they have replaced most i haven't been over there this week to see if everything i know it has been ordered if it hasn't been replaced so we're going to pay a bill we don't know if all the furniture that needs to be replaced has been replaced due to damage or improper on their work. Does this leave any money that we owe them? Does this pay them in full? The only money that we owe them will be then for the stuff for the county clerks. It was added at a later time. Um, we can make the motion to approve it ending I go do a walkthrough and make sure that everything has been fixed. If you can do that. 
you make a motion. Yeah. Uh, well, to make sure that everything's been fixed before we pass. Uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't want to pay a bill. And, and and sure. we, we don't know if the furniture is correct. The furniture is correct. They did have a few pieces that they had to reorder because it was damaged. Okay. I've not been over there this week to double check to see if it has been swapped out. I know they were working there last week. I can go over later on today and take a look. That was a motion to approve upon administrator confirmation to the commission that the furniture that was damaged has been handled appropriately. That's all. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Motion has I made, mean, and I'm not going to try to repeat that. I, I didn't say it again. <laughs> no, I just said it. Excellent motion. Okay. I, I can say it again. Nope. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Right. Right. Any opposed? Yeah. None. Motion carried. Number 12. Review, discuss, consider budget revision for county clerk. Motion approved. Motion to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number 13, review, discuss, consider budget revision for Sheriff's Department Exhibit A. Motion approved. Motion to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number 14, review, discuss, consider budget revisions for prosecuting attorney's office, Exhibit A. Motion, motion to approve 14. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Review, discuss, consider budget revision for General County 001. Exhibit A. Motion, motion to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, motion carried. Oh, I mean, all in favor? Aye. aye. Any opposed? <laughs> Hearing none, motion carried. <sighs> Number 16, review, discuss, consider budget revision for vital services 027, Exhibit A. What's the pleasure? Motion, motion to approve. Number 16, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? None. Motion carried. Number 17, review, discuss, consider budget revision for circuit clerk, Exhibit A. Motion to approve. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 None, motion carried. Review, discuss, consider the resolution creating two funds on, as stated in West Virginia Senate Bill 631 and House Bill 522 for the use of the county court. These are the funds to be deposited for election use, okay. mm -hmm. which was passed under these two bills. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt. Motion to adopt the resolution and affix the proper signature. Please. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor, send the proper saying aye. Uh -huh. aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number 19. Review, discuss, consider defining properties located at 70 Copeland Avenue, Lazy Hurst is one. Number two is 110 Copeland Avenue, Michael Dent. Number three, 50 Walton Street. Wilma K. Jenkins and number 460 Walton Street, Charles and Bonnie Ramsey as emergency nuisance within the framework of the IPMC. So the emergency measures abatement can be commenced. And these are all in that one area there, the ones over here and the ones over here. And I'll make a motion to approve all the green and under discussion. I want to tell you this is outstanding. I have waited four and a half years for us to. This is this is awesome, and do it all over the county. We want we want people to have a certain standard here, and this is it. So it's the ones in green. Yeah. Yes. Right. And quite frankly, the standard here isn't much. Cut your grass and sweep your porch. Yeah. Your motion was to did you make a motion? Mm -hmm. Motion to move forward. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motion to move forward with number 19. Any further any discussion? Uh, this is just declaring <clears throat> the properties a nuisance, mm -hmm. and they will come back with the funding request. No. 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 So, no. so so this is I, 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 I can yeah. speak to this. Okay. So the reason before 
Commissioner Hinkle, I wasn't comfortable moving forward with the immediate demolition of these emergency nuisances is because the county hadn't adopted the recent version of the International Property Maintenance Code. And you all did that several meetings ago. So I ask that these be brought back before you to declare to be declared as emergency nuisances so that emergency measures within section 109 of the IPMC could be used to tear them down to the ground. Um, it's a method which is used across the state for sort of extreme nuisances. These are unfortunately drug contaminated houses. I believe two up to two two burnt down last week. So they need the extreme relief of going ahead and being torn down. Uh, Charlotte and I also attended a meeting with the auditor and sort of the I call her the director of demolition for the state. Uh, about she was with Huntington and talked about how they utilize this as sort of extraordinary relief within section 109 of the IPNC. But just to make sure we gave the owners notice one more time within the 2018 IPNC, I wanted on the agenda today the auto vote on it. When you're talking about Mrs. Perry, she's a machine. Yes. So yes. She said that I'm sorry, I did not recall. Is amazing. I did not recall her name, but that, that, that sounds good. Like I mean, I, I don't have an issue with declaring the properties. I guess my question is by declaring the property, is this an open ended checkbook for the same month? It's without, I mean, let's do it from 200,000, 50,000, 300,000. So if you want to put some financial pressure on cost, that makes practical sense it's a better question for charlotte about anticipated cost to get them fully down to the ground yeah. and there is one hundred fifty thousand dollars in the budget annually to do this right now that is correct and right. that's what i was going to mention so that's right. right it may have to be a budget revision i mean maybe, maybe we can make an amount i'm just yeah i know yeah, that makes, it makes sense. you get to 150 yeah. you've got it's a commission decision. I just, and i'm not sure if we're using those funds, or did we get any money from the EPA not yet? Currently. Not currently. So we'll be talking again with the auditors and his, the auditor and his office because we've been in touch with them about you know they have special funds set aside for these dilapidated structures to get them pulled down. This is just the steps for us moving forward with this. We'll take it out of the nuisance budget that we already have in planning, and then hopefully later on this fall. We'll be getting another pool of money to get from the state auditor's office to tear down more nuisance properties. But you're going to have to go in and test these properties for asbestos. So that's going to be what, a couple of weeks? Well, we have an in house asbestos tester now that it's usually fun. Takes how long and how much does it cost? Once we get in there, take the samples, send it out, get the results, maybe a couple weeks. So I, I guess that's all we're doing that we'll be able to find out for that kind of what kind of cost we're looking at. And David, one of the key things to this is, and, and you've heard the same spiel I have that Ms. Perry is very adamant on, is we don't want to tear one house down at a time. No. That's where the cost comes in. We want one contractor hired to whack 12 houses and have one demo cost, one asbestos cost, one belt cost, and then that way perhaps instead of costing Fifteen thousand dollars individually, we may be able to get it to eleven thousand dollars times fifteen, and then we get fifteen homes tore down for one hundred fifty thousand dollars instead of, instead of ten. And we that one right. take those ones half the building it was now because it got on fire. Uh, you know that's fabulous. I mean, <laughs> because you, you go to one tank Copeland Avenue, I hate to tell you, but across the street's another problem. Yeah. So it if does stop. Well, well, just this, like Foxford, you got this it. right oh. here is one huge area, yeah. and it's it's. This will take care of a lot. But this will definitely. So, Trey, by declaring these properties as an emergency measure, then that sets the wheels in motion for us to go in and take our samples without property owner's permission, get the pricing, and the demo, and do the demo. But the one thing that I want to emphasize here is it's not like we've just walked in and, uh, you know, we've shut the door on you. We, we, we ask you, beg you, please, 
Yeah. Wait, no, please, Cleveland, please take the four cars and 27 cars out of your yard. Yeah, like we have had these for years. Years. These are Charlotte's Farm, just one of the properties that they've been after and after. But now that we adopted that international property maintenance code, we finally have tools to utilize us to move forward to demo these. Mm -hmm. That's right. But I see what it's saying. She doesn't well, need next it. week I have we a number. Yeah, so in our well, package, I have to put out to bid back. 11. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this tool, so this is the tool of last resort. Yeah, right. I understand. Yeah. That. And I just okay. want to make sure we're not just all of a sudden we agree to this and she comes back and says, I got it all done. And yeah. We're looking at three hundred thousand dollars. After one hundred fifty thousand dollars, she's going to have to ask us for more money. Mom, we told her to do it. <laughs> well, well, I mean, I mean think if, we got to the vote for you. Okay. And if we put like a cap, like for these four properties, no more than sixty thousand. Otherwise, they have to come back to commission. What well, about something like that? Let's, I think if she gets her asbestos done. Which you think you get two weeks. Come back in two weeks. You ought to be at the contractors. I don't think. Yeah, it was still. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, 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 yeah, I'll we'll put it out for bid. We'll yeah. Make the motion to come back to us to approve this. Yes. And come back to the commission with a budget number because unfortunately we may have to make a decision if you go to a one eighty five that you need thirty five thousand dollars from somewhere because you know we're not guys. This is the key. Well, what's this? What's the saying in Charleston? Water? We're going to move forward. Because we're going to we're gonna clean house before we invite the company over. Mm -hmm. So let's let's keep inviting everybody in to West Virginia and Harrison County. But let's clean house first, like we would. I was, you know, your house. Okay. So the motion is to move forward, approve, and come back with a number before taking action on demolition. Yeah. So we can do the asbestos. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think everybody understands the motion, right? Yes, okay, any further discussion? Mm -hmm. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number two, review for number 20. Review, discuss, consider a resolution applying for funds from the U.S. Department of Interior National Park Services for fiscal year 2023 historic revitalization sub grant program. And the reason these were added was because we don't have a meeting next week and we need to get this stuff done. Correct. Um, we don't want to lose out on this grant. Right. This is an application that I'm asking for your permission to apply for. It is to revitalize the uh, CCT building, the old Quiet Dell School. And the application is due on the 11th, and our next meeting is the 12th. So I, we had to do an emergency to get it done today. So I heard from the application. Submit. What's the pleasure on number 20? Motion to move forward. Great work, David. Motion to move forward and fix proper signature. Mm -hmm. right. Motion to move forward and fix proper signatures in the green. Any further discussion? Uh, in the future, can we, instead of doing these, last minute agenda items we could have come in and got this taken care of friday we call special meeting yeah I'm just, it seems we're always getting pushed on these grant applications and i'm not blaming you it seems to be us on our schedule and we're forcing the issue to last minute these things because we're not given the flexibility of our meeting times mm -hmm. so it's just, it's just, I think we should work with grants more on this. I don't have a problem with that, but I just am not comfortable signing something without it coming before the commission and signing no, it early. No. So I, I want it to come before the commission. I just right. The commission just needs to make itself more available for this kind of stuff. But if we've got a grand issue, then let's put it in sign it. Okay. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. <laughs> okay. Number 21 review, discuss, consider a resolution authorizing the acceptance of funds from the West Virginia Justice Reinvestment Initiative Treatment Supervision Grant Program. 
it's like another emergency yeah. item. <laughs> but um, I just got the notification on Saturday that we got this grant. And in the email, he wants them back by the 7th of July, all the contracts and documents that go along with it. And since we're not having a meeting next week due to the holiday, that would delay it for the 12th meeting. So that's why it's put on today's as a emergency item. Motion approved, fifth signature, and again, great work team. A motion to approve and a fixed signature. And this is accepting the data. Okay. Any discussion? Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, motion carried. Number 22, administrator's report. Um, I really don't have too much for my administrator's report. The main thing is at the end of fiscal year, um, all budget revisions to you know have been now finalized with today's agenda. Um, we can wrap things up and then start July 1st with the new fiscal year. But I'm working to carry this year's money into July, that it was still spent a lot. You're not supposed to. The invoice has to be dated in June. And then first, should be done before the end of fiscal year. Okay. Hence all the requisitions. That are... Okay. Okay. But we just got previous. Okay. Number twenty-three, commissioner comments. Mr. Treacross. Only that I have no problem with Mr. Mr. Finley on the agenda, as we said spoke. I think he really had absolutely asset. I don't have anything. Mr. Hankel? Um, I guess uh, I'd like to know how work sessions are called. We determine when a work session is set up and who uh, has the authority to set those meetings up. I've asked for several, they never happened. One that happened today, I wasn't asked until after the fact if I wanted to be involved with it. So I'm just curious if somebody from the commission can explain how work sessions get put out and that we can have them when the commissioner would like to have one. Also, as I read earlier, it seems that, and this is nothing against our grant department, but other areas are seeming to find grant money for rail trails. And maybe we should work with some of these other counties to figure out how they're getting this money. Question here. Motion to adjourn. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none, motion to adjourn.